Now to some developing news. A couple of local nonprofits are looking to rebuild tonight and still deliver to the community. That's after a devastating fire at their business. Well, Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Rasmussen shows us how much damage was done there moving and what they're going to do moving forward. Stacy. Yeah, Dave, I saw the building earlier today and it was completely destroyed. It happened at Valley Feeding Project and the Morningstar Ministry. They say this is a big loss in their mission to help the community. These used to be one of the best, best stores. It hurts my heart because the man, the owner, he's a very nice person. He helps a lot, the homeless. Both Morningstar Ministries and Valley Feeding Project are nonprofits that help feed the community. So now that the store is gone, it hurt my feelings because they were selling really cheap. But are located in a building that burned down overnight Thursday. Crews made access uh, and we determined that we had an outside fire that appeared to get into the structure itself. Uh, within minutes on scene, the fire rapidly grew. We had a few uh, minor explosions inside the structure, which we believe were propane tanks on forklifts. The fire department had to call an extra crews to get the blaze under control. We just needed more crews. We ended up with five engine companies, three truck companies, four battalion chiefs, uh, our training division as safety officers, as well as arson, uh, with uh, contributions from the county fire department as well. The only thing that survived was a refrigerated truck that is used to help deliver meals to people in need in our community. Everything in the warehouse, the packing line, the forklifts, the pallet jacks, the electric pallet jacks, um, everything that we need, all the boxes that we had that we packed uh, the food in um, have been completely destroyed. Which is a big loss because Morningstar Ministries feeds around 400 families every month. Uh, we started in September 2013 with uh, 32 families that we delivered on that first distribution. And last Saturday we delivered to over 400 families. And uh, the height of COVID, we got up to like 700 families. The owner of Morningstar Ministries also says this is a big loss for Valley Feeding Project, whose mission is to make food affordable for the community. Everything that they, they had, all their inventory, all their stuff was destroyed. But still says this setback will not stop their goal to feed the community. Rest assured that on August 28th, when our next distribution is, is um, on schedule, that we are going to serve those families. And investigators believe the fire started outside of the building and made its way inside. Arson investigators have taken over tonight, and of course, we will bring you any updates as we learn them. Live in studio, Stacey Rasmussen, Eyewitness News. Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929.